Michael Faraday was an English scientist renowned for his contribution to the study of electrochemistry and electromagnetism. Having deep interest in chemistry, he developed one of the most useful equipments in chemistry, the Bunsen burner, which is still used in the laboratories. He has made path-breaking discoveries and developments in electricity and electromagnetism which include popularizing terms like ion, cathode, anode and electrode. Faraday grew to become one of the greatest scientists the world knows today. His later discoveries and findings lead to the foundation of electromagnetic theory, and what good is a baby? There's nothing quite as frightening as someone who knows they are right. Nothing is ever too good to be true. It is right that we should stand by and act on our principles, but not right to hold them in obstinate blindness, or retain them when proved to be erroneous. A man who is certain he is right is almost sure to be wrong. It is on record that when a young aspirant asked Faraday the secret of his success as a scientific investigator, he replied, The secret is comprised in three words work, finish, publish. Nothing is too wonderful to be true. I am busy just now again on electromagnetism and think I have got hold of a good thing but can't say. It may be a weed instead of a fish that after all my labor I may at last pull up. I happen to have discovered a direct relation between magnetism and light, also electricity and light, and the field it opens is so large and I think rich. I will simply express my strong belief, that that point of self-education which consists in teaching the mind to resist its desires and inclinations, until they are approved to be right, is the most important of all, not only in things of natural philosophy, but in every department of daily life. I can at any moment convert my time into money, but I do not require more of the latter than is sufficient for necessary purposes. Shall we educate ourselves in what is known, and then casting away all we have acquired? turn to ignorance for aid to guide us among the unknown? Why will people go astray when they have this blessed book to guide them? But still try for who knows what is possible. The important thing is to know how to take all things quiet. There is no more open door by which you can enter into the study of natural philosophy than by considering the physical phenomena of a candle. Who would not have been laughed at if he had said in 1800 that metals could be extracted from their ores by electricity or that portraits could be drawn by chemistry? Chemistry is necessarily an experimental science, its conclusions are drawn from data, and its principles supported by evidence from facts. What are we, credulous, incredulous, unbelieving, superstitious, bold? frightened, what a ridiculous world ours is, as far as concerns the mind of man. How full of inconsistencies, contradictions and absurdities it is, I declare that taking the average of many minds that have recently come before me, I should prefer the obedience, affections and instinct of a dog before it. A center of excellence is, by definition, a place where second-class people may perform first-class work. It is the great beauty of our science, chemistry, that advancement in it, whether in a degree great or small, instead of exhausting the subjects of research, opens the doors to further and more abundant knowledge, overflowing with beauty and utility. I shall be with Christ, and that is enough. Speculations? I have none. I am resting on certainties. The lecturer should give the audience full reason to believe that all his powers have been exerted for their pleasure and instruction. I have far more confidence in the one man who works mentally and bodily at a matter than in the six who merely talk about it. I cannot conceive curved lines of force without the conditions of a physical existence in that intermediate space. Water is to me, I confess, 
a phenomenon which continually awakens new feelings of wonder as often as I view it. The condition of matter I have dignified by the term electronic, the electronic state. What do you think of that? Am I not a bold man, ignorant as I am, to coin words? Lectures which really teach will never be popular, lectures which are popular will never really teach, I am no poet. But if you think for yourselves, as I proceed, the facts will form a poem in your minds.